Glad to have you with us. All right, check this out. Village of Putin Bay invaded today, first by sea and then by land, and it was all by the same piece of machinery. I must be missing out for a while here. I've never really seen this, except in, we said a James Bond movie yeah. or something. John Monk has more on what's going on with this group of amphicars on South Bass Island. Monday morning, eight classic amphicars from the early 1960s rolled onto the Miller Ferry then held an impromptu parade around the village of Putin Bay, followed by another parade in the water. Many of these dual purpose vehicle owners attend the Great Lake St. Mary's Salina Lake Festival and for the last 10 years have made South Bass Island a traditional stop on their way home. So that everybody's already here. If you have another day or two, you don't have to go back. Come on up to Putin Bay, enjoy a real lake, real food you know, good people. The owners then held a car show and offered free rides out onto the water. And there was no need to advertise as onlookers quickly gathered along the docks to see these 60 year old concept cars in action. We were driving just right there and I told him, I jumped off the car and I told him to pull over because I wanted a video. Billy says there were only about 4,000 of these vehicles manufactured in Germany and repairs are difficult but he says he and the other owners love to show off their amphicars, sharing their love for these rare vehicles with others. You'll probably find out that giving the public rides who have never seen one of these before, the reward is in the giving. Now, if you missed the Amphicar's visit to Putin Bay this year, they're already planning their return visit. The date is not set yet, but it should be about this time next year. Reporting from Putin Bay on South Bass Island, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.